What is good scrapper? CC Scraps channel. How y'all doing today? So, I went over to my brother's house. My mom and dad were dog sitting because my brother Ted, my middle brother, is in Cancun. Alright Ted, you go with your bad self. Alright, so, uh, anyway, it was real funny. This is a quick story. We did a video for my mom and my aunt edited all their family members saying happy to birthday to my mom because she turned 70 April 8th, which is Friday. So, um, so we all did a little montage for her. And, uh, at the end, my father's like, you know, you know, for the first, it was kind of sad and tear jerk, you know, he's like, for the first, you know, the first time I heard that voice of yours at that party in Preble, New York, it was it, and 45 years later, here we are today, we have three beautiful children, and, oh, boy, okay, so, anyway, my brother gets on the phone, because they called him from Cancun, and he goes, yeah, he goes, you know, Dad, it was really weird, he said, you know, my lover, I go, my mom goes, yeah, Ted, well, not to weird you out, but, you know, we did have a lot of practice, and I go, yeah, Ted, Jesus, they're married. I go, you know, you didn't come. How do you think you're here? I go, it wasn't the stork, brother. So, haha, <laughs> just wanted to share that with you. So, anyway, we're over here. Long story short, my dad gave me this bag of tools. So, let's go through it and uh, see what we got. Dirt and rust. I don't know if you watch my videos, but this one might be right up your alley. These casters I grabbed, these aren't from there, but I love to save casters. I got a whole bin full of casters, or starting a whole bin full of casters. So, start out here we got a little brand new cobalt um a uh, little uh screwdriver set and it spins this is brand new that's cool uh, it's a cable crimper uh i don't know what this is if anyone knows what this is let me know scout crafter john fix Big Vic, Gunner's Garage. Come on, guys. I don't know if you watch my videos, but... Well, Scott Crafter, I know you do. Uh, 357 Magdad, Tom Gunn. What are the... What is this thing? k and Scrapping. Any of you guys out there? Ian Matthews, you probably got a few of these. I don't know. Let me know, guys. Uh, oh, we'll get into the hammers later. Uh, big, big... Uh, Set of needle nose. Uh, another ratchet screwdriver. Or no, this isn't a ratchet screwdriver. What the heck is this? Oh, it's a, it's a you know, flip around one. So we're back. I had to go pee pee. All right, so we, uh, pair of hedge trimmers. <coughs> Excuse me. Looks like we got a screwdriver set here. Um, I don't know who makes these. Uh, Yixion? Yix? Yeah, right? Y-I-X-U-A-N. Zizon? I don't know, but I'm sure I'm... I bet they're, uh, the Asian style. Uh, which is cool. A lot of tools out of China aren't too bad lately, but some... Uh, be nicer if they were Japanese, but... Um, kind of a three three jank screwdriver set of Phillips, a couple of flatheads. It's kind of cool. Uh, now we got a heavy duty Stanley ratchet screwdriver. That's what I'm talking about. Thanks, Dad. I'm, I'm pretty sure the back of this thing comes off. Looks like it does. There's bits in there. Come on. Man, I love getting tools and unscrews. Oh, look at that. They're all there, too. Nice. Uh, maybe we're missing one, but that's okay. Because I got a crap load of these bad boys. That's what's up. Okay, cool. Um, a couple pairs of pliers. These are, uh, I can't see who makes these, but I do like the set of grips on them. And I like the inlay too. It's kind of cool. Um, oh, there's a little there's a marking on there. You just can't see it. It's faded. Uh, these are made in China. Uh, Westward, but it's always good to have a nice set of plus like these seems pretty quality, you know, they're of the Harbor Freight style or tractor supply maybe. Uh, oh 357 Magdad. Look at this. What do you huh? Ooh wee. Look at the handles roach though, man. That thing smoked. Looks like it got burnt. 
But uh, if you want this, I will post my email down below. And I'll send this to you. Maybe you can do something with it. Let me know. Little baby pipe wrench. That's dope. I'll go with, I'll go through that and uh, put that with my other pipe wrenches. If you have not seen my pipe wrenches hanging on my tool walls, I'll show you where they are. I still have them. Uh, standard wood chisel. Needs a little cleanup. Which is nice because you can pound on the back of it. Uh, little tester, these little continuity tester. These are always good to have. Some cable. These are kind of neat. Some little cable like holders. Maybe I could fix some lights to the ceiling with that. I'll hang on to those. Uh, another wire stripper. These are. Oh wow! Look at this. How about that, y'all. Sears. Can you see that? Backward, probably. Sears. I wonder if this is a... Craftsman? No, it's just Sears. That's cool. Uh, another ratchet screwdriver. This one's kind of neat. All the stuff opens up in here. No, wow, oh, look at that. It's a little socket set, too. That's pretty cool. Thanks, Dad. And then all these that they're missing here, but I got bits I can, I can fill that out with. That's pretty cool. I'm going to hang on to that. Don't know who makes this. There's no marking or nothing. Made in, uh oh, China. That's all right. Oh, look at these little needle nose. That's cool. This will match my, uh, this set right here. I already have this one, so that's kind of cool. A little baby tool, same color of the Chinese version. That's okay. I don't care. I just love getting tools. Oh, look at these ones. These look old. I can't even see who makes these. These are going to get cleaned up. I'm going to do... You're, I got ideas here. A uh, little baby screwdriver. Wooden handle. A uh, couple more screwdrivers. Ooh, look at that. That's a nice Stanley right there. Really nice Stanley. I have one upstairs that matches this. But it belongs to the wife. So I think what I'm going to do is trade her one of my craftsmen for this. Or for the match to that. Another little mini screwdriver. Those are great to have. Uh, another wire stripper. Commercial electric. I don't know who makes this or where it's made, but that's kind of cool. I don't have one with the ergonomic handle. Uh, measuring tape. Always good to have in the workshop. I've got a few of them. Um, this. Look at that, huh? Remember these guys? Can we, do they even still make these? They gotta somewhere, but yeah. That's really cool. Red End. That's the name. Oh, Lufkin. Lufkin makes this. All right, and... Oh, you know a hammer. Ooh, we gotta love the hammers. I might just clean this handle up. Get a nice claw hammer here. And, at my job, I work for a welding company at Hahn Welding Supply, Syracuse, New York. Well, that sucks. But that's... They don't suck, but this sucks his head's loose. But I'm going to remedy that. These are slag hammers. These are for when you're welding, you know, you, you clean up your welds with. You can, I got a cross peen and then like a straight peened one. And, but I had to have them. So that makes like, I don't even know, like 40 something hammers now. Uh, and he let me have the tool bag. Oh, and there's some bits in here too that go with the stuff. So maybe we're not missing as many as we thought we were. Right here. Check this bag some more. The rest is just screws and random hardware. It's probably going to go in the tin bin. Yep, that's it. Just some random hardware. All right, I hope you like this uh, finding, uh, I don't want to find any old tools, I guess. They're not really that old, but we'll put it in that playlist. Uh, thanks again, Dad, for the tools. Again, happy birthday, Mom. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. CC Scraps. Peace. You'll have a great weekend.